the most important thing for the people of northern Uganda is peace. Uh, if they have peace, they, have, they don't need aid. As the situation is, because of the um, violence that they're confronting on a daily basis, they do need aid. They don't, under any other circumstances, need aid. They're self-sufficient people. They live in a fertile country. Um, there's, there, it's not overpopulated. But in the situation that they're forced into, they desperately need aid. I've seen poverty here, like, I think greater poverty here than I've seen anywhere in the world. And I've been to quite a lot of places in the world, um, in those camps where people are forced to live in very enclosed tight circumstances with each other. There's an incredible level of poverty. I didn't have any real idea of the scale of the social disaster that's unfolding here um, because of various um, elements, the army, the government, the Lord's Resistance Army, um, and the nature of the Lord's Resistance Army, it's an incredibly complex and difficult question. The result of which is that, as I say, a social disaster is unfolding. I think the, the primary thing that I will take away with me on this trip is the inspiration side of it coming from the people who are suffering such incredible hardship through nothing of their own making or even of nature's making completely unnecessary, targeting basically children. It's, I think it must be one of the only situations I can think of in the world where it's, it's a, a situation that has risen completely out of children being targeted. My lasting memory definitely will be the beauty of the people and the, and the strength of their society and their culture. Um, and that's what is, to me, is incredibly hopeful, because I think these are incredibly resilient, um, courageous people, but also very well organized and very self-disciplined people. Um, and um, that's, where I, that's where I lay my faith. Um, if they're just allowed to get on with their own lives, that's all they are asking for.